Education Minister Dr. Nian Gadsby Dolly has attributed the problems with school repairs to cash flow issues. She stated that she has been doing her best to address the readiness of schools across the nation. However, she emphasized that the Ministry of Education has been experiencing severe cash flow problems, which she said is a recurring issue at the start of every school year. This year, she believes the problem is being exaggerated due to it being an election year. Gadsby Dolly explained in a phone interview with The Express that the main issue is a lack of money for repairs. When asked if the ministry lacked the funds to repair all the schools that needed it, she confirmed, that's it. Regarding the involvement of the Minister of Finance, she declined to comment, suggesting the matter be directed to the Finance Minister instead. She elaborated that the Ministry of Education's school repair budget had already been exhausted by the time the vacation period began, which led to a request for additional funding. An initial allocation of $20 million was received in July and repairs commenced. However, this amount was inadequate for the required repairs, prompting further requests for funding. Eventually, additional funds of $100 million became available later in the vacation period. To date, the ministry has received $120 million for the vacation repair program, though the initial budget was set at $190 million. Gadsby Dolly clarified that without money, the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Education could not legally enter into contracts for repair work. She emphasized that allocations must be in place before any work can proceed. She acknowledged the position she is in, with stakeholders such as parents and the Trinidad and Tobago Unified Teachers Association expressing dissatisfaction. She reiterated that the Ministry of Education can only undertake repairs when it has the necessary funding, which it does not control. She noted that the Ministry applied for funding well in advance of the vacation period. According to her, the current situation is typical, occurring every year when there isn't enough money to address all needs. She expressed a sense of resignation, stating, I can't do what I can't do. She also attributed the heightened complaints this year to the election period, suggesting that it has amplified issues that would otherwise be seen as normal. Regarding the closure of the education facilities company LTD, EFCL, Gadsby Dolly indicated it had no impact on the vacation repair program as MTS replaced EFCL and was described as very efficient. However, she acknowledged that prioritizing repairs is challenging since there will always be complaints from schools that do not receive critical repairs. In a separate interview on I-95.5 FM's Facebook page, Gadsby Dolly provided a breakdown of the Ministry of Education's $5 billion allocation for fiscal 2024. She explained that $2 billion goes towards teachers' salaries and another $1.5 billion is allocated to post-secondary institutions like the University of the West Indies, UWI, University of Trinidad and Tobago, UTT, and others. The staff salaries at the Ministry of Education account for almost $1 billion. She emphasized that most of the ministry's budget is spent on recurrent expenditure, leaving very little for school repairs. For any significant projects like building new schools, additional loan funding would be required.